Hey everybody, what is going on? Hexlex here with another Master Duel video for you guys. Today we're going to be doing some more live games. I uh, managed to get a little bit more time tonight. This is actually the second night of the ban list, the first night of the season that I'm recording this. It's uh, going to be a little bit ways out that this video actually goes up. That's just due to some IRL stuff I'm doing at the beginning of this month, so I'm trying to front load a few videos. But uh, uh, no, after that we will be caught kind of back up to where we normally would be in the season, if that makes any sense. That's just more by behind the scenes stuff than anything else, but suffice it to say, suffice it to say rather, no, I, I said that right the first time. Anyway, <laughs> we have some more live games here with Sword Soul Tenyi. Got a little more time to sit down and try to get some of these recorded here, because um, I do love the live games and I do love Sword Soul Tenyi. Um, now that I've been playing more with like both, because like, you know, when Brandon Despia first came out, of course, I focused a lot on that deck, especially trying to parse between the Adventure and Fright for builds, which I liked more, which, you know, was pleasantly surprised. I thought I was going to go into it liking the Adventure build more, and came out of it actually preferring the Fright for build, so uh, always nice to find, yeah, you know, find yourself pleasantly surprised in that way, but uh, regardless, now I have kind of balanced, you know, the decks I'm playing a little bit more, you know, Season 9 was a little bit more focused on Brandon Despia. Um, now that I've been playing, you know, a bit more variety of decks, I find that I think I do like Sword Soul Tenny still just a little bit more as far as like just playing the deck. I feel like I tend to have a little bit more fun playing this deck than I do uh, Branded Despia. Not that I dislike Branded Despia at all. I actually think it's a very fun deck as well, but um, Sword Soul do just, I don't know, something about Sword Soul, they just have a special place in my heart. Um, um, not quite on the same level as like Tri Brigade, of course. Like Tri Brigade, I think, is always just going to be a favorite of mine, but. Uh, Sword Soul, you know, now that I think about it, you know, we're in Season 10, and especially at the point that this video is coming out, we've had Sword Soul around for now half of Master Duel's entire lifespan, which is really crazy to think about that, just the fact that this game's already almost a year old, it feels like I just started playing, just started, like, uploading these videos, just started playing this game again, but, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole, I mean. But, um, yeah, no, Sword Souls, I, you know, that we, now that we've had them for quite some time, and they've been, like, very relevant for... Pretty much this entire time, I would dare say they've probably been tier one the entire time. The only moment where they were more tier two, I think, was when uh, Adventure Pranks was the top deck. Then I think that was a pretty clear tier one deck where, you know, it kind of stood above even Sword Soul Tenny. But you could make an argument that Sword Soul Tenny was still lower tier one at that point during the meta as well. Um, I talk about it all the time when I talk about this deck, and it really is just a matter of consistency, I think, as well as power. Like, uh, yeah, the deck is fairly strong, um, but honestly, more than anything else, it's just the fact that it can put out the same strong boards pretty much every single time with rather minimal setup. Not just, like, minimal setup, but also multiple means to get that setup right. Uh, like, you know, Moye, you know, the Tenyis themselves. Uh, even like, you know, just Emergence for Taya, Oops, Emergence for Taya is still a play in and of itself, Ecclesia, like, just a lot of roads that lead to the, to the end board of like, Chi Shao plus Baron plus some other stuff, whether it's like, uh, a, a Protoss usually, maybe a Blackout, sometimes you can manage to throw in a Chao Fang, it takes kind of a nutty hand to do that, but, uh, it is possible, um, and then of course, yeah, we just have all these other tools to help us out, like Protoss, like I mentioned, um, as well as, like, Heavenly Dragon Circle to uh, add a bit more consistency. Not only consistency, but also the ability to dodge certain negates with certain monsters is very nice. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's Sword Soul, right? We, we all know Sword Soul at this point. Um, the build itself is funny. has not really changed too much just over the course of even, like, you know, the time it's been out. Um, as all these new card releases and ban lists have been coming out, Sword Soul Tinny stands as consistent not only like in, in game but also out of the game as well uh, it's just been a consistent force the way it's built and played has been consistent this whole time of course this last ban list did provide uh, the most major shakeup with Hulk being banned uh, now that is no longer a route that sword sultani uh, has access to and in that regard it is slightly weaker uh, to be fair you know but it doesn't affect the deck in enough of a way that honestly that i think it it you know, knock Sword Soul Tenny any lower from, you know, being tier 1, which I do think it, again, for pretty pretty firmly is. Uh, obviously, Branded Despia does have a lot more, not just representation, but honestly power as well. I do think Branded Despia tends to be the more powerful deck, but uh, that doesn't mean Sword Soul Tenny can't keep up, definitely. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much about all I've got to say about the deck at this point. Now, as always, as ever, let's go ahead and break down the list card by card, and then we'll jump into some live gameplay. So we are playing 1 Effect Veiler, 3 Tenny Spirit Adhara, 3 Max C, 
3 Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, 1 Tiny Spirit Shathana, 3 Sword Soul of Moye, 2 Sword Soul of Taya, 2 Incredible Ecclesia, the Virtuous, 3 Sword Soul Strategist Longyan, 2 Tiny Spirit Vishuda, 3 Tiny Spirit Ashna, 1 Nibir, the Primal Being, 1 Archonemesis Perotos, 1 Harpy's Feather Duster, 3 Sword Soul Emergence, 2 Called by the Grave, 1 Cross Out to Designator, 2 Heavenly Dragon Circle, 2 Infinite Impermanence, and then 1 Sword Soul Blackout. Uh, the extra deck is going to contain, going to contain uh, 1 Yazi Evil of the Yang Zing, 2 Baxia Brightness of the Yang Zing, 1 Draco Berserker of the Tenyi, 1 Adam Peter Risen Dragite, 2 Sword Soul Grandmaster Chi Shao, 1 Chao Fang Phantom of the Yang Zing, 1 Baron de Fleur, 1 Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign Cheng Ying, 1 Sword Soul Sinister Sovereign Qi Xing Long Yan, 3 Monk of the Tenyi, and then finally 1 Shaman of the Tenyi. So yeah, there is the build card by card there, now let's take a look at some games. Alright, got our opponent here, I was gonna say their name, but uh, they even have a missing character, so even if I knew what this one was, I wouldn't be able to tell you, but going second here, let's see if we end up with a good going second hand. Ah, oh, too bad we don't have the aquarium board. <laughs> I just love it when both players have it. Okay, so, hmm, no, no disruptions here. This would have been a pretty decent. I don't know about de pretty decent, but it would have been all right going first hand. You know what? I'm actually thinking about it. Let's see. Yeah, because I would have long you on for long you on. Special token made the Baron. Some of the Taya go for level eight. I would have had these to back it up, but. See, looks like we're playing against Fluwanderees, which is going to get a pretty standard setup against us here. Hmm, I'm just thinking how I'm going to play around this. Because I couldn't make a... Well, they'll probably play the Dream Tab before I get the Baron out, though, is the problem. Baron would solve my problems, being able to pop the Imp Pen and negate the Dream Town. The problem is they're going to use the Dream Town before I can resolve the... Or summon the uh, the Baron. Feather Duster would be a nice top deck. Actually, it would be a great top deck here. Ooh, they added both. You're not technically supposed to. Well, I mean, you, you can do that, but you're not quote unquote supposed to. Ideally, you save one of them. That plays around Dash, basically. My opponent just didn't play around Dash Boss in there. Oh, yeah, we could definitely use a Feather Duster top deck here. Nope, we got an Ash Blossom. Right on time. Right on time, Ash Blossom. Um, alright, let's try it. Let's see how far we get. I, sure. Why are people playing this card? I don't understand. Yeah, go right ahead. It's total dead draw. It's completely useless on my opponent's part, by the way. Why you should not be main decking this card, in my opinion. Alright, so, Dream... Wait, and also, wait, Dream Town's coming down now? I guess that makes sense if they want to, like, rise at now while my stuff's on board. No, 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 that actually does make sense. Okay, no, no, no. I... Because they have to do all their effects right in a row. That's right. Um, and we can just Ash this, so... I'm not even really concerned about that. So we can even still Baron. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Cool. Alright, that actually worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna sink for Baron, pop the M pen, and then I can normal Taya and start doing stuff. Might even just make. Think about making me. What if I made Baxi instead of Chi Shao? No, 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 no. We definitely make Chi Shao. And then we can call water and pop the Rabina, and they can't use Rabina next turn. Well, they can't. No, no, no. That doesn't actually do anything because he can still normal summon. That's right. Okay, so. Yeah, we're going to burn them. Alright. Baron F. On Impen. They have an Imperm, but we have a Crossout Designator, so... I am... A-OK -okay with this. And we even still have the Baron Negate, which is pretty sweet. Alright, there's the Imperm. Alright, cool. So our opponent has an Eaglin and two Unknowns in hand. Actually, should I leave the Rabina alone? Don't I want to... Well, no, actually I don't. 
Well, if it gets banished, it'll get added to hand, and then it can add something to hand is the thing, right? So I kind of want to bounce it back to the deck with Baxi a little bit, but well, we'll have Chi Shao up anyway as well. So anyway, I'm going to normal summon the Taya and activate on the Longyon. Let's see. Hey, I'm just going to make Chi Shao. Ah, it's too bad I had to make the Baron in defense mode. But yeah, of course there was no other way around it because of Mpen's effect. Otherwise, we, uh, would, we would definitely have lethal this turn. But, it's all good. Um, ooh, what am I going to send to the graveyard? I should probably just send an Ashuna, right? Well, have I, I have a normal summon? Yeah, I have, of course I have a normal summon. Okay, so I'm just trying to think. What am I going to add with the uh, Emergence? I'm probably just going to add Protos. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. One, two, three. Okay, I do have three different attributes. I'm just going to add Protos, so I don't need to send an attribute to Banish. I can just send something that's good to send, which would probably just be Ashna, I think. Yeah, let's just do that. And then we'll add Emergence to the hand. I mean, we might as well call Water here to get more damage in. Just trying to think. I can't normal summon. I can't special summon a ten So yeah, I have to pretty much have to add Protos here. Ah, it's, it gets ah. It's so frustrating that you have to put the Baron in defense mode for that. Um. Oh, actually, it's a good thing I banished or I put the Ashina in grave. I actually maybe should have put something else, but it's fine. Because I, I didn't realize I had two fires. That's fine. Boom and boom. And I don't care about not special summoning water monsters, right? I don't think so. No. Not not for the rest of this turn, and not through the opponent's turn. So we can call water, this is fine. Alright, let's battle. Oh, you know what? Well, no, 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 but then I wouldn't be able to destroy the M-Pen. I was just thinking, like, oh, I should have made the... Chi Xing Long Yan to for extra burn, but then I realized no, I couldn't have done that because then I wouldn't be able to destroy the M Pen, and then I wouldn't be able to use the Taya's effect that I summoned. Oh, yeah, I don't want to make Shaman the Tindy, That's fine. All right, so we have the Chi Shao Negate and the Baron Negate up as well as a Call By. The Call By is probably not going to be relevant, but uh, no, definitely don't want to activate Baron. Okay, yeah, Call By is probably not going to be relevant, but we have two Negates here. Oh no, uh, they have Dark Ruler no more. That really sucks. Oh no. Ah. Um, I mean, yeah, that's gonna have to be fine. <laughs> oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Oh, please get M Pen here. Oh, if they get M Pen, I can just negate it with Called By. Oh, but they're probably just gonna get the Ryza. Wow, that sucks. Oh no, they got the amp in. Yes. Oh my god, they got the Oh, that's so good for me. Oh, that's so good. This is fine. This is all completely fine because this imp pen is not gonna be a threat really at all. I don't think it should be anyway, because again, we're just gonna call by Yeah, they can summon the barrier statue. I mean I'm I'm done summoning anyway, so that's fine. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to, when it lets me... Whoa, that was a total misplay on my opponent's part. That was actually a complete misplay on my opponent's part, in my opinion. Well, actually, no, because they now they can destroy the Chi Shao, but now they can't destroy the Protoss, which I think is more important. Um, yeah, I'm going to flip Called By, and I'm going to banish the M Pen in your graveyard, and more importantly, negate the M Pen on your field in doing so. Now you won't have another Dream Town for my turn. Yeah, they'd already negated my Baron, so that I don't mind turning to defense mode. Now they can't kill my Protoss, that I definitely don't mind getting turned to defense mode, because now I can flip this up and call Wind on my turn, 
Uh, they can destroy Chi Shao, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, they decided not to anyway, so that's fine. Kind of figured they were going to go for Baron, honestly. Okay, they didn't summon... Oh, they couldn't have normal summoned, I don't think, because I negated the M-Pen, right? They couldn't have normal summoned the barrier statue. Um... Alright. Oh, I can't... But if I flip... Oh, that's why they flipped him down. Well, that, no, that wouldn't have made any sense anyway. Well, I could have turned it into defense mode. Anyway, whatever. Let me flip this... And this. And... Oh, this is negated! <gasps> Through this turn! That's right! Oh, that's right! Okay, let me activate... And call wind. No response. Battle. Attack. Win. Question mark. Win. Yes. Exclamation point. <laughs> Dope. All right. Cool. Managed to get in a win against Flanderies there. Yeah, it was uh, it was looking a little dicey for a little bit. I mean, a little dicey. That they got their typical Flanderies set up, but um, I don't know. You know, it's 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 a little tempting to concede sometimes when you know Flanderies gets her set up, but it's definitely more than possible to play through it, which is why I always advocate for just never surrendering. <laughs> never say never, all that fun stuff. I don't know why I'm just always quote that, Jesus. Alright, let's just go on to the next game. Alright, next duel against Cha. And we get the first turn. Nice. We definitely take those. Definitely take those. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, good hand, good hand, really good hand, actually. Okay, do I want to summon this Ashina at all? I don't think so. Um, I think I just want a normal Moye, reveal the Ashina, Chi Shao, and I'll probably just use the Ashina for Long Yan. I have the Ash for a Maxi. I have the Heavenly Dragon Circle for a Veiler or an Imperm against Moye. Um, again, I don't think there's any reason why I would want to summon Ashina unless I wanted to have a Monk on board as well. Which, I don't think I have the kind of hand where that is going to be necessary, so I'm just going to normal summon Moye. And reveal Ashna. Okay, cool. No response. We love to see that. Alright, Chi Shell. It's going to be a pretty typical opening setup here. From the looks of it, anyway. Do you still have to be mindful about Nibiru? Let's see what we end up drawing here. Uh, if our opponent does have a Nibiru, we could potentially Heavenly Dragon Circle and get some advantage to our hand. When we get a Vishuda, so we're gonna get an Emergence here, I think. Actually, we already have a Long Yawn. We could just get a Blackout. If our opponent has Nibiru, this is actually the better thing to add, because then we could special a Tenyi from our hand. Oh wait, hang on, actually, if our opponent has Nibiru, then we could special Ashina, send it for Monk, special Vishuda. Yeah, we would definitely have plays even if they have Nibiru here, so... Um, I think I'm still gonna add Blackout, because I don't need Emergence for anything. I've already normaled and I already have a Long Yan. So I don't really need Emergence, I'm gonna add the Blackout. Oh, but we can't special Vishuda, that's the problem. Because uh, we have to special, or we have to use Vishida for long. It's fine. We'll see if they have Nibiru. There's no use, like, thinking too, too much about it if it hasn't happened yet. Although, this is definitely the point where it's going to happen if it is. And it's not. Thank God. Oh, my God. That's so such a relief to see the extra deck glow. <laughs> it's such a relief. Uh, it actually would have been nice to have the... This is actually the scenario where we would have liked to have had an extra monk for the uh, blackout here. Um, you know, with the Ashina. So this was, because we specifically top-decked Vishida, it actually would have been nice to have special the Ashina, but we, we couldn't have really known that was going to happen, so... Um, I don't think it was a misplay to not do it here. Um, I'm definitely going to set the blackout. I'm trying to think if I want to set the Heavenly Dragon Circle, too. I mean, there's kind of no reason not to, right? I'll set the Heavenly Dragon Circle first, and I'll throw it down over there. I'll throw the blackout down here, and we'll pass the opponent. So again, that's a fairly typical opening setup for Sword Soul 10e. Um, again, had I known I was going to have an extra Vishuda, then I could have, again, specialed the Ashina and had an extra Monk and an extra either Adhara or, like, Vishuda on board, potentially as well. Um, 
Oh no, we're getting kaiju That's no fun. That's no fun at all. Wow! You got it. All right, well, never mind. <laughs> cool. Good talk. Uh, please tell me that's all you have. Is that one face down? Okay, two face downs. Could be worse. Hmm. Well, let's hope they can't stop their own lava golem. Oh, we actually have plays here. Um, I'm gonna start by summoning Shathana, right? Cool. Now let's make a monk. Oh, we can put it up here. It doesn't matter that we are, have the the linked zone occupied. That doesn't matter for this deck. Um, ooh, yeah. Now we have multiple plays here. Okay, so... So we can add an Adhara. Can we, we can't special the Adhara. Did we normal summon already? Yeah, we have, of course we normal summon. Okay, we can't special the Adhara is the problem, though. We can Ashina for Adhara, but that doesn't really do anything. Our opponent's at 68. Hang on. We have 4,000 plus Vishida would be 15. I'm just trying to think if we can lethal. I don't think we can lethal. <gasps> Wait, we can. Hold on a second. No, 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 we can. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hang on. So, okay. They set this one first and then hesitated and thought to set this one. That makes me inclined to think that this is the better back row. So that's the one I'm going to start by Vishuda, using Vishuda on. I actually, well, I could have done this without Monk on the board. I was going to say, I technically should have done that first, but... Okay, cool. Now, okay, so I have 4,000 damage on board. I need another 2,800. If I use Ashina's effects, the special in Ad... Uh, probably Adhara. Send Adhara, summon Monk, Adhara effect, wheel... Something back to my hand, doesn't matter. Send, send for Shaman. Shaman F to bring back um, the Chi Shao, and that is lethal. Yes, that is lethal. I'm going to turn this to attack mode before I forget to do that. All right. Ashina effect. Special and Adhara. Does it have to be an Adhara? It doesn't have to be, but it will be an Adhara. Over here. Alright, now let's... Oh, shoot! It actually does matter. We should have put the monk over here. It doesn't... It's fine. We'll just discard the ash. That was actually a misplay, though. That was actually a misplay on my part to put the monk over here. I should have thought about that a little bit more. There was actually scenarios where we needed to do multiple monks. That was very brash of me to say that. That we didn't need that. But I think we should hopefully be fine, question mark? Maybe, hopefully... Oh my god, yes! Oh, okay, that was really scary. That was really scary. I want to see what we were playing against real quick. Hang on a second. I'll save the duel, because why not? <laughs> uh, what, what, what was that? I want to see what my opponent was playing there. Uh, it was... Oh, it was this deck. The Pacifist deck. Okay. I was wondering if it was like a Numeron or like... Burn or something. I don't know. Whatever. We'll just go. Well, we'll, no need to jump cut this time. We'll just go straight into the next game. But, uh, whew. All right. Okay, so looks like we're going to go first against our next opponent here. Oh, let's see what we've got. Okay, so we have the Tenyes and the Klesia. Oh, it's too bad we didn't get Ashina. If we had had Ashina instead of Vishuda, we could have specialed Ashina, sent for Monk, specialed Adhara, Ashina effects, special Vishuda, made a Chi Shao without committing the normal summon for the Ecclesia. We would have been locked into Worms, but that's fine. Just meant we wouldn't have been able to make Baron. But because it's Vishuda, that's a little more awkward, because now in order to make a level 8 with the Adhara, we'd have to normal the Adhara. I think I'd rather normal summon the Ecclesia for a Moye here. Do I want to special the Adhara or the Vishuda, though? Probably? If I normal... Okay. Let me think for a second. Special Adhara, send for Monk. Could banish for something if I end up banished. But I don't have an Ashna. It was just normal when I get back on turn one. 
my special, the Vishuda. I think I'd rather keep the Vishuda. I don't know if that I want to summon either of these Tennies here, actually. No. Um, I think I should probably special the Adhara. I'm trying to think of reasons not to special the Adhara. It would be to make plays with the Vishuda next turn, potentially, if we need to. We have a cross out, so we have a lot of insurance with our plays here. The Adhar would likely just end up being an extra monk on the board. I don't know that I'll need an extra monk. The main reason I would want one is if I have blackout, and kind of like that other time, I don't think this is a hand where I'll, I'm going to end up searching blackout with Chi Shao, so I think we're just going to normal summon Ecclesia here. Okay, they have the Ash, we have the Cross out, that's fine. I always double check with cross out because I'm always paranoid. I haven't done it yet, but I'm always paranoid that I'm gonna like chain it on like a max C. Ugh, of course, I had to say it and jinx it. Um, I'm always paranoid I'm gonna chain it on like a max C or something and accidentally call an Ash instead. So, I always do that. Okay, so given that they have max seed, okay, I'm just trying to think. If I special Moye. They get a draw. I use the effect to get a token. They get another draw. I Chi Shao, they get a third draw. They're at six cards, which is ultimately a plus one. I get two cards, which is a plus two. We're both tied at six cards each, so I'm fine doing the Moye line here. Just thinking about how much advantage each of us is going to have at the end of this play to determine whether or not it's actually worth it. Uh, I'll show them Vishuda. It usually doesn't matter too, too much what you show them with Moye, but I kind of like to show them the worst thing to make them so that they think my hand is worse. Um, but there's also something to be said for showing them the better card and it's like a, almost like a power move, but like legit for like intimidation. That's like not an awful idea. I don't know. It's like, that's probably honestly one of the parts of the game I'm probably not as good at is like just that kind of psychological especially in person play it's just that like psychological warfare um one of the reasons i do tend to oh shoot that's a little annoying but we're still gonna be tied on advantage so i think it's ultimately still fine you know what i'm i'm fine with them ending with net no card advantage gained to me with chi shao plus valor given that they like had all these responses this is like an still a decent outcome for this like turn one honestly um, yeah, honestly, kind of one of the reasons I tend to prefer Master Duel, honestly, a little bit to the TCG, is just the fact that, like, I can be socially anxious, you know, a decent amount of time, I'm not gonna lie, and I've definitely noted where that has, that's definitely affected the way that I play, um, and how well I perform, you know, play the TCG, wow, that's a real, that's a very pretty right of Armas here, um, so Master Duel does tend to be a bit easier for me to, like, concentrate and think about the game, I guess, in that regard, so... Uh, let's see here. Getting the Griffin. Discarding a trail. Oh, so it's a, it's Despia. Okay. Uh, so I mean, we have the Valor for the Lubellion, but they have the Griffin is the problem. Naturally. Um. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna activate the Chi Shao. Oh, yeah, oh, wait, it's gonna cost a card to get banished. Well, whatever, I'll do it anyway. There's a world where my opponent forgets this is negated, and okay, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, uses the Griffin here, but nah. I don't think the game even lets you do that because my monster's already negated now that I think about it. So that was actually just a waste of just banishing Moye for no reason. Uh, which, because I have the tie in hand, it actually matters. Shoot, I just now realized that. Mmm, that's not good. I mean, things are already not looking good for me anyway, but... As in, I'm probably not going to live through this turn anyway, but... I might not live through this turn anyway. Um, I won't take this 2000 because of the Valor. Mmm... Will they discard Branded Opening? Or no, they added Branded Opening. No, they discarded Branded Opening. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. I think I do actually want to veil. Uh, uh, no, I'm fine. I'll wait for the Lobelion. 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter, but I'll wait for the billion. You should wait for the Lobelian anyway. I don't know actually the timing of like I'm recording a lot of videos right now because because uh, honestly I have like a um, I think I alluded this to a little bit earlier earlier in the video too, but I have some life stuff going on at the beginning of this month, so I'm kind of like pre-recording uh, some videos here. So I'm still planning on making that uh, video about choke points. I haven't recorded it yet at this point, but I think. Due to the way I'm scheduling things, it probably it might have already been out. <laughs> it's kind of weird when that happens. This is more again behind the scenes stuff, but like, if I have already made that video, then I have already talked about how Lubellion is the choke point in Brave Despia for Valor and Imperm. But um, if I have not, then I will talk about it. <laughs> it's so awkward sometimes, but whatever. Yeah, so I knew this failure obviously wouldn't resolve. I'm I'm doing this to get 2,000 damage off of the board to hopefully not die this turn. Ah, oh, banishing that Moye was such a misplay, oh my god. There's no reason to do it too. Like, there's actually literally zero reason for me to even do it, but... Because part of me was like, oh, I'll do it just to, like, remove the prompt so I don't get bothered by it anymore. But then, of course, I have the Taya, so it actually might matter. There's a decent chance that it matters, uh, needing that Moye in the graveyard. Do I have another, like, at least... I don't think I have an emergency or anything, do I? No. I don't have anything to banish with Taya right now, that's not good. That's actually really not good. Um, okay, am I gonna start by specialing? Hmm, what am I gonna start by doing here? What's in my banish pile right now? Do I have a Tenny monster banished? I don't. Well, I have a war monster. I have a sword. I have a Moye banished. Okay, so I could actually lead with Adhara, especially Adhara, go for Monk. Adhara, I have to add Moye. Just trying to bait this Mirror Jade out. Call by is a, pr a pretty decent draw, actually. It's better than it looks. This is not great. There are other cards you would prefer to draw. I'm thinking mainly Feather Duster, but... Hmm. Actually, no, Call is a great draw. What am I talking about? They have Branded in red. And they don't have the um, thing on board anymore. The Griffin, because I used the Veiler already. Oh, oh, we might actually be able to turn this around. Hang on a sec. That was actually the perfect top deck. What was I saying? All right. Okay, special Adhara. Oh, they can't use their Mirror Jade now because they can't recycle it because they already used it, didn't they? I wasn't paying as much attention as I should have been. Yeah, 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 they totally already used their Mirror Jade, so now they can't use that anymore. Okay, cool. This is actually definitely gonna work out then. Because now I can summon Moye. Okay, so I should special Vishuda first, then. If I'm going to go for Moye anyway and not Taya... Well, actually, either way I should do it, because then I can make my Taya alive as well. Yeah, I'm definitely going to special Vishuda now. I'm trying to think if I want to send for a Monk now and bounce the Mirror Jade. Uh, no, I'm going to activate Adhara first. Get this Moye back. I want to get the Moye alive. I want more advantage. Wow, the banishing the Moye actually ended up being the right play. Oh my god. I accidentally that was totally an accident. Banishing that Moye was not the right play there, but I think I accidentally like made it the right play. Oh my god, this is totally gonna work out. Oh wait, should I summon Baxia? No 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 no. I need to go for like Baron here. Oh, wait, I could go for a Shaman and still even use the Taya here. Oh, man. Oh, wow. We have... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is disgusting. This is disgusting. Wow, this is actually just disgusting. Wait, I could even special this Ecclesia, I think. Okay, wait. Hang on. What am I adding here? I need a Long Yuan, right? Well, I'm going to add an Emergence in case I need something else. I think. Yeah, I'll just add Emergence for the time being, that's fine. Yeah, I definitely add it to hand. Hang on a second, hang on, I have an idea here. Because I'm going to go for a Shaman anyway, I think, right? So if I, hang on. Alright, if I go for Monk. Oh, but then I'll have to have an, 
Oh, but I will have a non-effect monster on board, right? If I, I'm just thinking, okay, if I link these monks into a shaman, then I'll have fewer monsters, and I can special summon this Ecclesia. And then I can use shaman's effect, discard, or no, 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 no. Oh, shoot, wait, that doesn't work. I'm just thinking, okay, emergence, add long yon, long yon, discard Taya. No, because I need a card to discard is the problem. Okay, so that's why that doesn't work. But this is fine. We still have, like, so many plays right now. Um, let's get rid of this Mirror Jade. I w definitely want to bounce it and not destroy it, so that way its end phase effect doesn't trigger, just in case we don't have lethal this turn, which we should be able to find lethal here. Oh, so yeah, that's also going to trigger the Alber effect. That's fine. We already used the Chi Shao. That's actually totally fine. This is the perfect time for the Alber effect to get triggered, honestly. Okay, so... We could still use Shaman. Well, here's the thing. We can use Shaman and discard the Ecclesia and still summon the Taya like we were talking about, but we're not going to be able to uh, still summon the Ecclesia in the same turn, which is fine. All right, that's fine. All right. Emergence... I don't want a Tenny monster or Protoss, right? I could Protoss and call Dark and get rid of these Alibers. But no, I want the the Burn and the Baron. The Burn and the Baron. <laughs> um, yeah. And I want to discard this Taya as well. Okay, summon a Sword Soul token. Make Baron. Let me think for a second here. I'm going to use Baron to effect to destroy the adventure token. We need to do that because then it'll, otherwise it'll be protected from being able to be destroyed by battle. I'm just really thinking if I send these and summon Shaman, I don't think I'll have lethal still. Oh no, I will if I use the Draco, because I'll get a Draco Berserker, right? And that'll battle, battle, and then I'll Shaman. Yeah, 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 that's still lethal. Because I can use Taya's effect. Okay, let's activate Baron's effect now. Destroy the token. Alright, and then now I Shaman with Monk and Monk. Alright, Shaman F. Send the Ecclesia. Summon a Taya. Taya F. Um, we can banish the emergence. That's fine. Uh, I don't want to accidentally activate the effect. I don't trust myself not to do that. I'm going to banish a monk. Oh my god. Ooh, 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 we found lethal. We found lethal. We found lethal. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, because then we get the Draco Berserker. Um, which can still use its effect even under Shaman's effect because it's a 10 e extra deck monster. Go to battle phase, Draco Berserker battles over an Alibur, effect activates again, battle over the other Alibur, and then Shaman, Chi Shao, and Perrin swing in for lethal. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually managed to find lethal and it was actually because I misplayed in Banish Mode. <laughs> that was absurd, that was absurd. Um, wow. That's, uh, talk about, like, backdooring into the optimal play by total accident. I did not play in that at all, but cool. We take those. We definitely take those. All right. Um, that's definitely going to be all the time we got for this video. So let's go ahead and move now to the outro. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end. I very much appreciate that, uh, as well as I appreciate those of you who are commenting and subscribing as well. Um, <laughs> I'm just laughing at that last game still about how that ended up playing out. Yeah, comments, definitely let me know what you think about that. Um... And maybe, I don't know, maybe because I had the Adhara in hand, banishing the Moye was actually the right play if I would have, like, really thought about it. That's the thing, it's like, when you accidentally find plays like that, I especially, I have to wonder, like, would anyone, like, is that a reasonable play to have actually, like, thought about and gone into, or, like, 
Did I actually just get stupidly lucky in the fact that I misplayed it to end up being like the best play possible? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments though. I'm always interested to get your guys' feedback, especially about gameplay and builds, deck builds, and well, everything really. So um, yeah, and then subscribing, like I said, definitely appreciate that a lot. And also uh, lets you know when my videos drop, which does happen every single day. So you do have daily Master Duel content to look forward to when you subscribe. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for today's video. So thank you very much for watching. Watching the Sex Lex signing out, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.